you know, the survivor aspect is a hard one to pin down. I think some of us have it in our DNA. I don't, I don't think we're all the same. I don't think we all react the same to stress. I don't think we all react the same to adversity. I don't think we all react the same to, sur to survival. For me, there was no thinking about it. I mean, all I wanted to do was, was survive and, and get out of captivity. There was, there was no even consideration of, of giving up or, or losing faith. Now, does that change over two years? Maybe, I don't know. But all I can tell you is in the period of time where I was held, I, I was absolutely committed to getting out of there and doing what I needed to do to survive and stay within the regulations and the, and the rules that I was supposed to follow as a soldier. I think training helps. I think having been put in adverse situations before helps. You know, the only thing I can say about is what does it take to, to, to be a survivor is, 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 is the will, the sheer will to survive. And when you've spent the time and energy with a unit like 3rd Ranger Battalion that adheres to the Ranger Creed, they essentially give you the, the playbook, the structure. You have to surround yourself with good people. That's how you're going to make it out. You're going to, someone's going to have to be there for you. And, and to ensure that they are there for you, you're going to have to put everything you got into them. Because that's the only reason, by the grace of God, I know I'm around. It's because of those guys on my left and my right.